It's been a wild day already here at Luke's Ice Center, but nonetheless, wipe the scoreboard clean. Two new teams hitting the ice, the TCNJ Lions and the Princeton University Tigers looking to advance to tomorrow's semifinal round and keep their season going. Who is going to come out on top tonight? Moving to the semifinal round, it's only happening right here on Colonial Hockey Live. Good evening to you, everybody, and welcome into Luke's Ice Center here in Lawrenceville, New Jersey. Tonight, our second quarterfinal matchup here in the 2019 Colonial States College Hockey Conference Tournament. The three-seeded TCNJ Lions will take on the number six-seeded Princeton University Tigers. Cody Decker here with you on this fine Friday evening. About an hour after our, our slated puck drop time, for those of you that don't know, Rutgers picking up a 6-5 victory in overtime over Millersville to move on to tomorrow's semifinal matchup. Their opponent to be determined by the result of this game. Let's get you the latest on your TCNJ Lions. 17-11-1 on the season. Went 14-4 in league play. Good enough for third in the league. They had a 5 to 3 win at Rutgers last weekend but also a 5 to 2 loss at Rowan University. So they are coming off that loss against Rowan in a game where they certainly were in it. It was definitely a game where TCNJ fought hard with Rowan, but unfortunately for the Lions, Rowan came off very high powered and was able to get off to a hot start, able to go up 3 to nothing early on in that game. A couple key players to watch for your Lions tonight. Of course, the captain, Will Dimmick, comes to mind. 27 games played, 13 goals, 23 assists for a total of 30, 36 points, three power play goals, and three game-winning goals. J.P. Kelly's been great since he came back to the team during the spring. 26 games played, 17 goals, 15 assists, 32 total points, with six power play goals and a game-winning goal. Dan Martin has definitely shown his flashes of brilliance. 29 games played, 10 goals, 13 assists, 23 total points with a power play goal and two game winning goals. And of course the defenseman to watch, Mark Teachin. 29 games played, five goals, 16 assists with 21 points, three power play goals and a game winning goal on the season. We can expect the Lions to throw out Mike Lejewski for the goaltending duties. 14 games played. A 5-6 record, a 4.18 goals against average, and an 8.95 save percentage. Looking at the Princeton Tigers, 10-8-1 overall, 10-7-1 in league play. Able to reach the sixth seed in this tournament. They lost the tiebreaker to Rutgers due to the head-to-head -head record. Obviously, Rutgers was able to beat Princeton twice during the regular season. The Tigers rounded out their regular season with a 9-4 loss at Scranton on Sunday. And according to the ACHA website, that's the last game they played since January 19th. So if that's true or not, I'm going to run with it. But nonetheless, if the Tigers have really only played one game in this semester, it's going to be tough to see how they come in to these playoffs. Obviously, they're going to fight hard. They're going to play hungry and obviously want the win. But nonetheless, we'll let the hockey play for itself on that. Andrew Bennett obviously is the player to watch. He, lead, he is uh, second in goal scoring in the country, fourth leading point scorer in the country, and is second in average points per game. He's played only 18 games, 
but has 41 goals, 35 assists, and 76 points on the season. Five power play goals, a shorthanded goal, and three game-winning goals. Now, I looked up the stats on who he's probably going to be playing with, and that's the center, Nick Safalu. 13 games played, 27 goals, 29 assists, with a total of 56 points. But mind you, Safalu had 12 points in a 12 to nothing win against Monmouth a couple weeks ago. 12 points in the game. He was involved in every goal. He scored four goals and had eight assists. Also has two shorthanded goals and two game-winning goals on the season. Head over to the defensive department. Ryan Gizzy, 19 games played, four goals, 16 assists, 20 total points. Two power play goals and a game-winning goal. And they are certainly going to lean on their goaltending. Coleman Merchant has had a really good season. 17 games played, a 10-6 record, a 4.22 goals against average, and 8.95 save percentage. Also has two shutouts to his credit in this 2018-2019 season. Going through the two matchups in this duel, so to speak, TCNJ was able to beat Princeton 3-1 in the first game of the season back on September 14th. Princeton scored the first goal of the game, then three unanswered by TCNJ was able to give them their first league victory in their first game. Dan Martin and Christopher Hastings had a goal each. Martin had the game-winning goal. Will Dimmick, Matt Kimak had a assist each. And Patrick Cho did the goaltending duties for TCNJ that game. 32 saves on 33 shots. Cho is no longer with the Lions at this time. For Princeton, Andrew Bennett had a goal. Defenseman, Wasserman, and Garlock, the two defensemen there, had an assist each. And Merchant saved 36 of 39. The Lions led in shots on goal in that game, 39 to 32. Were unable to score on three power play chances while the Tigers went one for five. To their second matchup on October 20th, Princeton defeated the Lions 7 to 4. Princeton started out the game with a 5 to nothing lead. They went. They led the second 4-1, to one, and that was the main surge of that 5 nothing start. TCNJ was able to score four goals up until 13-44 into the third period, but then two empty netters by Princeton sealed the deal. Andrew Bennett had a hat trick with two assists, and Coleman Merchant saved 37 of 41 in the game. Matt Liebers had a big impact on that game. Obviously, Liebers graduated, not playing here in the spring. Had a goal and two assists in the game. As for players currently on the roster in that matchup, Dimmick, Hastings, and Vidusic each had a goal in that one. Nick Pontoriero and Patrick Cho both shared the goaltending duties. Again, neither of them are on the roster at this time. We can expect Mike Lajewski in net tonight. Shots on goal, 41-27. to in favor of the Lions in that game. Lions went one for two on the power play, while the Tigers went 0 for three. Hopefully you got all that. It's a lot of information, I understand, and it's been such a wild night. I need a break. I need a little bit of a breather right now. So, the players have gone back into the locker room. They're gonna finish the ice cut, and then we'll have action here from Luke's Ice Center, the Lions and the Tigers, looking to move on to tomorrow's semifinals here in the 2019 Colonial States College Hockey Conference Tournament. The battle for the Colonial Cup is on. Puck drop and starting lineups coming up in just a few minutes right here on Colonial Hockey Live.
And we are back here live at Luke's Ice Center, ready for our second quarterfinal matchup of the night between the third-seeded TCNJ Lions and the sixth-seeded Princeton University Tigers. Want to give you the starting lineups for tonight's matchup. We will begin with Princeton. On defense, it's Ryan Gizzy and Christian Bush Bischoff. The forwards are Charles Van Allen and Andrew Bennett. The center is Nick Safalu. Starting goaltender is Coleman Merchant. For the Lions, defense, Mark Teachin and Travis Benny. The forwards, J.P. Kelly, Will Dimmick, and Ryan Anderson. And the goaltender is Michael Lajewski. As we're expected to have a little award presentation to begin the night off. Andrew Bennett getting the award for most goals in the league this year. The captain, Andrew Bennett, having a spectacular season, his best so far. Bennett also getting the award for most assists. And I'm sure he's going to get one more if he has the most goals and the most assists. Most points, of course. If you do your math correctly, that's what it should come out to. Most goals, most assists, most points. Andrew Bennett also winning the league MVP award. Dennis just said, talk about a clean sweep. I, if I could say it better, I would. And Princeton also gets the team sportsmanship award. So Princeton's taking home a lot of glassware tonight, even before they play the game. So congratulations to Princeton. Congratulations to Andrew Bennett on their success over the regular season, as well as their sportsmanship, apparently, which we didn't see much of in the first contest now that I think about it. That said, we move on to this matchup between the Lions and the Tigers. We gave you the starting lineups. making sure I get my confirmation of numbers because they're not correct on the ACHA site. So we're getting that right as of now. Starting lineups getting announced here. and We'll have the national anthem momentarily. Again, both teams fighting here to get into the semifinals. And whoever wins will determine the opponent for themselves, as well as the Rutgers University Knights, who just won 6-5 to five in an overtime matchup with the Millersville Marauders. We are now going to step aside for the national anthem.
in what seems like the longest pregame ever. It's finally over, and we're getting to hockey here tonight from Luke's Ice Center, our second quarterfinal matchup. And it's not even 11 o'clock yet. Good point there, Dennis. Just an hour and a half later from the scheduled puck drop. And if the first game was an indication of how much emotion and drama and whatever else was in that game, because it was certainly a whole lot of everything, this one should be just as good. Again, I'll give you the starting lineups. TCNJ bringing out the defenseman, Mark Teachin, and Travis Benny, the forwards, J.P. Kelly, Will Dimmick, and Ryan Anderson. The goaltender is Michael Lajewski. For Princeton, on defense, Ryan Gizzi, Christian Bishop. Bischoff, the forwards, Nick Safalu, Charles Van Allen, and Andrew Bennett, the goaltender, is Coleman Merchant, and we are underway here for quarterfinal number two. As Bennett has it now, able to play it across to Safalo. Safalo across ice, looking to get it to Bennett. Comes loose, though, and looking to be sent towards the blue paint, but handled here by the Lions. Pressure in the corner. Bennett with it, spins, and able to take it away is Will Dimmick. Comes loose here to Bennett. Bennett dropping it back. Played away by Benny, but a good keep here by the Tigers as Charles Van Allen... Was looking to get a shot on, but the Lions are able to exit the puck from their zone and make a couple changes here. Dan Martin going to chip into the Tigers' zone. Nice play here from D'Alto. Tripped up, and we have our first penalty coming of the day. Tripping call coming here against the Tigers, and TCNJ will hop right on the power play. Christian Bischoff headed to the box. Two minutes for tripping. At the 52 second mark. Face off win here for the Lions. Dimmick able to play it across. Betty with a shot deflection. Looking for a rebound and that one cleaned up by Merchant. Dimmick trying to send up ice. Taken away here by the Tigers and they clear here. Lajewski going to play this back. And now Will Dimmick surging up the far side. Dimmick sending across for Hastings, able to handle. Hastings looking to drop back to the point. Nice job by Dimmick on the help there. Betty with the shot deflection, loose in the crease. But Martin lost his stick there in the process. As now the Tigers in transition, drop back pass and just poking it ahead is Teague Tamesh. Teaching, looking to start the rush, cross ice. Thrown in deep, Martin trying to get past the box out by Max Garlock. And Martin will just send this over to the near side. Teaching, trying to get to it, able to send it deep into Martin. Martin gets it poked away from him, comes toward the blue line, kept in by Teaching. Teaching with a slap shot, looking for a deflection from Martin, but slid past him there. Kimmack looking to send it the far side and shoveling it out there is Garlock. Andrew Suma back in a forward position now as the, top, as the uh, Lions, I should say, are back at full strength. Shot thrown on but wide there and Lajewski able to handle this for TCNJ. Drops it back for Andrew Suma. Suma working with Lajewski on the near side. Back for Suma. Suma heading towards the crease. Gets his stick lifted, but able to maintain control here. Just 10 seconds left on the power play for the Lions. As Lajewski able to play back to the point. Kim Act to the circle. Kelly with the shot. Save for Merchant. And the power play expires. Good pressure from the Lions on that shift. But Princeton doing the job there. This comes out to the point. Good hustle there from Pat Coyle. Was able to keep this in. Mason Wasserman in the near side corner trying to work this along. And Princeton does get it out as Ben Lowe looked to play it off the boards. Good takeaway from D'Alto momentarily. But now Wasserman with it. Able to center it. Delivering a hit there is Krugliak. Trying to center towards the blue paint there. 
And a shot by Bennett was deflected wide. Lions fans liking that hit into the board. Suma playing this off the referee. And some nice moves here from Suma. Able to get it up to Coyle. Coyle looking for a shot, but it was blocked in front. Krugliak, tough angle, pad save for Merchant. Benny into the corner, trying to get it over to Anderson. Anderson back on here with Krugliak and Coyle. Krugliak has it in the high slot, can't get a shot off though. And the Tigers take it away. Nice block there by Kelly, and offside are the Lions, says the linesman. 15.45 to go here in the first period. No score here in our second quarter final of the day. Three teams have locked themselves into the semifinals. Only one spot remaining. Face off win by Dimmick. And Kelly sends this one into the Tigers zone. Tigers quickly getting it out here though. Good back check there by Dimmick. And Dimmick as well with a stick lift, and he'll control this puck. Retreating back in his zone, now sends it up for D'Alto. Anthony D'Alto looking to center. Stuck behind the cage now. And the Lions are able to get this up. And now the Tigers, though, able to take it back the other way. Benny with a hit on low. Now at the near side off of Kelly skate. Look at the center is Princeton, but they made a one-man change there and able to get in the neutral zone is Garlock, and they just wind this around. Turnover there by Kelly. Shot thrown on net. Pad save for Lajewski. Lajewski trying to get it up to D'Alto, but past him, and now in the neutral zone, retreating back is Garlock, able to play it across. Return pass for Garlock, looking to go far side. Hits off a of skate. And Lajewski will just play this over to Jamison Dugan. Hastings looking to send up, just punched right back into the neutral zone. Take it away here and a hit on Kenneth Michalek by Mark Teachin. Trying to send in. Good keep though at the blue line from Wasserman. Trying to center, take it away by Andrew Suma. Suma off the boards, looking to get it to Lajewski, and Lajewski will just dump in. Good speed here from Christopher Hastings. This comes out to the point now. Suma tees up a slap shot, deflection! Goes through the blue paint and into the corner. Glove down by Teachin, and they're gonna say Hastings touched it first. It's a hand pass, and the puck will come into the neutral zone. 13.44 to go in this first period. Shots on goal, 4-2 to two in favor of the Lions. Lions having the benefit after winning the Colonial Cup the last two seasons to host this year's tournament as well. So they have the home ice advantage here this weekend as Bennett looks to send across. Nobody home, though, except Mark Teachin. Teachin off the stick of Kelly. Kelly will give chase as Julian Coleman looks to start up this rush for Princeton. Played across by Christian Bischoff. Arm up, icing called here against the Tigers. Goalie matchup for tonight. Let's give it to you. We'll start with Coleman Merchant as we head down to his end of the ice. Merchant, 17 games played, 10-6-1 record, a 4.22 goals against average, and an 895 save percentage. While Michael Lajewski has played 14 games on the season, has a 5-6-1 record with a 4.18 goals against average and an 895 save percentage. Lions able to win the faceoff, but the puck ends up in the neutral zone. This now handled by Krugliak. Larry Krugliak checked by Bischoff. Couple pushes exchanged there. As now Safalu tries to work this up. Lions can't hold, and Anderson will just fire this in. Coyle with speed off the stick of Krugliak. Teaching trying to throw it, but it's blocked in front. 
Taken away here by Safalu. Safalu working with Bennett. Bennett with a shot off the post. Now Princeton deep in their zone. Knocked down by the stick of teaching, and now Bennett is all business. He gets it taken away from him, though. Off the skate of Safalu and handled here by Matt Kimak. Kimak making his way through the neutral zone. He will just wind this around. TC and Jay going to make a few changes here. Dan Martin with it. Able to send it past the defense. Nice little play to himself there. As Martin sends in deep to Matt Lajewski. Looking to center for Hastings, but it went behind him. And this puck's going to find its way down into the Lions zone. Handled here by Matt Kimak. Looking to play it up to Lajewski. It's off the end of his stick into the Tigers zone. And they'll just throw it back to the neutral zone as Garlock is able to clear. Back and forth through the neutral zone here. Lions offside. Hastings has to reset. Spinning and trying to send it down was Teague Tomesh. And this one left at the blue line. Handled here, but a good job by Hastings. He couldn't get the puck out, though, because there was a stick in the way. Dugan sending it over now to Patrick Coyle. Sent down, rolling puck, and the Lions will make a few changes again here. Good turnout by the TCNJ. I guess I could call it a student section. They look like all students to me. As this is thrown in deep and around by Julian Coleman. D'Alto hit after getting rid of the pass there. Princeton offside here, and that's going to send the puck down into the Tigers zone. Was it the late offside call, but not resetting there was William Hunt. 10.32 to go in the first period. Still no score here from Luke's Ice Center. TCNJ getting a lot of good chances. That power play shift looked really good, just unable to pot the goal there. As Benny looks to send it to Dialto. Dialto sending back for Benny. Benny with a shot deflection, and it goes wide for Will Dimmick. Check on Dialto. Lions looking to keep in. He gets it to Dimmick. Dimmick with a shot. No look, and he scores. Will Dimmick. Absolute beauty of a play by Will Dimmick. A no-look shot. Heads toward the near post, and it's one to nothing Lions. Great play to keep in and keep that opportunity alive. At the 9-48 mark, it's Dimmick with the goal, putting the Lions... In front. Lyon sending it down here. Ryan Dizzy is hit. Nice pressure here from Ryan Anderson. Trying to send it across off the stick of Merchant, though, as Krugliak was looking to follow that up. Teaching, trying to get it to Krugliak. But Krugliak went for a hit instead. Bennett able to chip this up. It's gloved by Safalu. Kimak, a nice cut out by him. As this is played to the far side for Charles Van Allen. Heading towards the blue line. Nice poke ahead by Coyle. And the Lions will take an opportunity to change here after a pickup now by Van Allen. Van Allen facing some pressure. Nice handling by him, though, as he looks to play across. Nice takeaway from Mark Teachin. This is now Matt Lajewski. Lajewski with a shot. Scored! Matt Lajewski! TCNJ able to get the fresh legs out there. Turn a turnover to a three on one. And Lajewski goes top shelf. Two to nothing Lions.
Goal separated by a minute and six seconds. The lead is coming from Matt Lajewski. Princeton trying to answer back here from the slot. Drops it back, the shot saved for Lajewski and he is able to stick it away. Now Princeton in transition, Julian Coleman with a shot and a save. Rebound chance covered by Lajewski. Nice cut out there by Mark Teaching in the blue paint. TCNJ looking to tilt the ice back here as Princeton will just send in. It's handled by Teaching. Centering shot, pad save for Lajewski, bouncing towards that far post but handled here by D'Alto. Looking to start this puck out of the zone. Anthony D'Alto is able to get the puck out. And we had a stoppage in play here. Maybe a hand pass? I didn't see what the call was. I thought they were going to get called for too many men there because there was a lot of switching going on, but wasn't able to see a clear signal from the referees. Shot there from the point, the flags to the circle. Handled here by Van Allen. Van Allen to the point, off the skate of Bischoff. And good pressure here from Princeton as they're making it a little difficult. Dugan now able to send this up the far side and now across ice, Will Dimmick, large and in charge here. Dimmick, good moves, looking to drop it back maybe, but he's hitting the slot. Trying to send up for Bennett, it's off his stick and that will go into the protected netting. 7.30 left in the first period, the Lions with a two to nothing lead on Princeton. Face off to come in the neutral zone on the far side. By the way, just so you're we're clear on, on rosters and things like that, Princeton only has 13 skaters dressed. So it's something to keep an eye on. Obviously, they have enough to run. Well, they, they don't have enough really to run even. Maybe two, four, maybe they have three forward lines and four defensemen. Nice move here by Coyle. Looking to center it. Krugliak looking to get a piece. Comes loose to Betty. Betty with a shot. Save for Merchant. Another shot. Teed up, but blocked into the corner. Comes back out to the blue line. Shot there and handled by Merchant. That one lasered by Kimak. Six forty-four to go in the first period. Face-off win for Princeton, looking to surge through the neutral zone. Was Coleman, but now a good takeaway, and now Martin with it. Martin circling, gonna play it in deep to Hastings. Hastings. Spins around, plays it back to the point for Kimak, but he can't hold on. Kimak across for Travis Benny. Benny up for Hastings. Hastings gets it poked away from him, though, and Benny will just send this back for Hastings. Hastings towards center ice, gloved down and handled by Wasserman. Wasserman across for Garlock, and they are facing a pretty decent forecheck here from the Lions. Played towards the blue line for Tomesh. Tomesh up to Coleman. That one skied into the Princeton zone. And a hand pass called here against the Tigers. The puck will come back into the neutral zone. 5.41 to go in the first. And if you're the Lions, obviously the start you wanted 
One thing that I was a little worried about was how they would handle the top line, and they're obviously out there right now for Princeton, being Bennett and Safalu as they work this up right now. Safalu tries to get through Teachin, Teachin with a little bit of a shove there, and it does the job. As Princeton looks to play up ice here and play it deep. Handled here by D'Alto. D'Alto, nice back check there from Safalu. Gets past Teachin. Safalu dropping it back. Van Allen for Safalu. Looking for the wraparound, but a good poke check by Suma. Comes into the circle, the shot, and it goes wide. For Ryan Gizzy. Takeaway here by the Lions. Kelly in the slot gets the puck. That one deflects off the stick of Merchant and over the crossbar. Comes loose to center ice now. So to get to my point, I was going to say, a little concern maybe coming in about how they would defend Bennett and Safalu and that top line. Obviously, they've had a lot of success this year, but they've done a really good job. Nice move here by Anderson and a glove save for Merchant. 429 to go in this first period. But again, the Lions came out firing. Obviously, the two goals early on, Dimmick and Lajewski, the goal scorers. And they've certainly had the most time of attack. The only chances really coming for Princeton so far have been in transition. Good checking here from the Lions as Coyle comes out with this along the far side. Coyle gets checked, gets the puck thrown, poked away as well, and that puck will be lifted out of play. Face-off win for Anderson. He would have played it back to Krugliak, set on towards net, save for Merchant. Puck sent down, arm up. Puck's not going to get to the red line, though. As Dugan is a bit impeded to try and get to that puck. Krugliak gets a poked away from him. And now Coleman in deep, trying to work with Ben Lowe. Trying to send a backhander on. Nice cut out there by Dugan. Another shot from the circle. Blocked by the stick of Coyle. That was Garlock on the shot. Delayed call coming here against the Tigers. Dugan able to send across to Kimak, and the Lions are looking to start up a six on five rush here. Kimak taking it himself, has it at the circle, trying to center it, comes loose, and now finally touched up. Penalty here against Princeton. It's a slashing call. Against Max Garlock. Garlock, two minutes for slashing at 16.57. Lions so far, 0 for 1 on the power play, but Princeton only really had one clearance on that first power play shift, so the Lions did a good job. Dimmick trying to send towards net, send back towards a circle, and it just goes wide for Mark Teach, who teed up a slap shot there. Benny, they get it to Dimmick. Dimmick sends it wide. Martin there, though. Martin battling in the corner. Benny trying to keep. Nice job as Dimmick has it now. Dimmick. Surveying. Sends it toward net. Martin across. And a score! Christopher Hastings! One for two on the power play are the Lions now, and they are heating up as they take a three to nothing lead. Hastings from Martin and Dimmick on the power play at 17 27. Face off win for Princeton. Bennett trying to handle here. And now the Lions in transition. Hastings maybe looking for another one. Sends it through his legs. 
Lifts a backhand over the crossbar. <clears throat> At the far side, Van Allen looking to start up a rush. Sends it off the stick of Safalu. And Teachin is able to send it across for Travis Benny. Benny up the near side. Hastings able to get this up to Will Dimmick. Dimmick in the slot. Throws a shot on and a blocker save for Merchant. Good work defensively here. Kimak sliding over to the slot. Able to cut that out. Dialto with a nice backhand pass for J.P. Kelly. Kelly has Anderson with him. Kelly centering, looking to get it to D'Alto, but it hopped over his stick blade right there. Only a minute 30 left in this first period, and the Lions have a three to nothing lead. Garlock into the corner for Princeton. D'Alto causing a bit of fit, shot there from the point. Nice block by Kimak, and that's gonna allow that puck to slow down and be an easy cover up for Mike Lajewski. 111 left in the period. Shots on goal, 12 to four in favor of the Lions. Currently converting at a 25% rate in goals scored to shots on goal. Faceoff win for Princeton, trying to send towards net. Good slot defense there from the Lions as Kelly tries to force this up to Martin. Princeton can't advance the puck and now Kelly on it. J.P. Kelly dropping it back to the point. Dimmick over for Dugan. It's off his skate. And glove down by Dugan. But so it's a hand pass sent towards net. And the puck will come out into the neutral zone. 48 seconds left here in the first period. Face-off win for the Tigers here as Garlock looks to take this up the far side. Good pressure here from Dimmick defensively, and Dugan will send this along the far side. Garlock again trying to chip up, but take it away here by Dimmick. Will Dimmick pushed away there. Handled now by Wasserman, but nice defense from Kimak. Picking him up there. Kimak over to Dugan. Just 15 seconds remaining in the period. Sets up the blue line. Trying to nab, work their way through. And Dimmick does enough to push out the puck and that one sent out. Dimmick's gotta be careful, Hastings as well. You don't wanna take a unneeded penalty at this stage. 6.9 left on the clock. I'd rather just not have a game like last game. If we could all just be peaceful, that would be nice. Maybe my wish will come true. That one dumped in. Kimak handles and the horn will sound for the end of the first period. Excellent start for the Lions as they put three on the board to take a three to nothing lead. Three different goal scorers as Will Dimmick, Matt Lajewski, and Christopher Hastings score the goals. We know on Hastings' goal it was assisted by Dan Martin. And Will Dimmick as well. Lions open up one for two on the power play. You can tell for Princeton that the lack of, I guess, players dressed tonight is definitely going to be an issue. They can't obviously run Bennett and Safalu out there as much as they want to along with uh, Charles Van Allen. You're not going to be able to give them all the time out there on the ice. So, you know, for Princeton, they just really need to – find a way to get through this TCNJ defense. I got to tell you, 
I haven't seen this much of a stingy defense, so to speak, from TCNJ at the blue line. Maybe all semester. They've really played extremely well defensively. And, you know, when I talk to Coach Duco about the defense, especially against Rutgers, they had to play well in that game, obviously defensively. And, you know, they, they had to score the goals as well to win that game. But just the, the defense just looked really solid. And when it comes down to it, if your team's able to score goals at this rate, in these playoff games and you play defense like that, you should win every game. So, and obviously there's still a lot of hockey to play here. I'm not giving TC and Jay a win just yet, but they are playing their best hockey that I've seen. And again, depleted lineup or not for Princeton, it doesn't matter. You need to win this game in order to move on. It doesn't matter who the team is. It doesn't matter how many players that they have. So for TC and Jay to come out firing, really that top line, is looking good. The second forward line, as I've said, has been like an X factor, I'd say, for this team in the uh, last couple weeks. So they have a lot to be proud of about that period, but obviously can't let that foot off the gas. I'd be putting up as many goals maybe as you possibly can. Keep sticking with the really good passing as you enter the zone. They're able to use their philosophy to their advantage against this Princeton team so far. And they just need to keep that going going forward. I really have no complaints about that that first period. The only thing I can say is forget the pushing and shoving after the play. Just go play hockey. You don't want to take an un unneeded penalty and put yourselves in a situation where you could let Princeton back in the game. Got to play discipline. Got to play solid all-around hockey. And I saw that a lot in the first period from TCNJ. For Princeton – you got to find your way through the neutral zone. You got to find your way through their defense, whether it's spreading out more, whether it's trying to catch them at a position some point. I know Princeton likes to do a lot of the same things TCNJ does as far as getting the puck in deep. But they need to find a way to kind of switch things up going into the next period in order to have some success against what's been a really good Lions defensive performance thus far. 3 nothing your score in favor of the Lions. We'll come back with the first intermission report which will lead into the second period. It's all coming up right here on Colonial Hockey Live. You're home for the 2019 Colonial States College Hockey Conference Tournament.
Back here live at Luke's Ice Center. Going to give you the scoring recap again for that first period as I got some sort of clarification. Will Dimmick with the first goal at 948, assisted by Anthony D'Alto and J.P. Kelly. Then at 1054, Lajewski with the goal. Matt Lajewski, assisted by Christopher Hastings and Andrew Suma. And then at 17. 27, Hastings goal on the power play, assisted by Dan Martin and Travis Benny. They give Benny the credit on the secondary assist, not Will Dimmick. So scratch Dimmick's assist there. Chris Hastings has a goal and an assist on the game thus far. Has been a really big difference maker thus far for TCNJ. So that is your first intermission report, and we will head right to the second period. Thought I gave a really good analysis right after the first period, so hopefully you were able to see it. Faceoff win for the Lions, shot there by Kelly, is saved by Merchant. Pick up here by Bennett, sends it across, Van Allen with a shot, and it's blocked by Kimmack. Kimmack able to send this to the far side. Kelly looking to poke it along. This is a sense on the blue line. Van Allen is offside. He has to reset. And this will be taken now by Matt Kimmack. Kimmack across. Up now for Dimmick. Dimmick hit away from the play. Kimmack with this. And he's just going to send that off the boards. Towards the slot area, good keep by D'Alto, I thought. But instead, it's an offside call. I don't think the puck really crossed the whole blue line, but again, I've told you before, I've never worn a striped shirt. I'm not qualified, I guess. Face off win for the Lions here as Dugan sends it down. It'll be picked up by Garlock for Princeton. Krugliak got in the way of that puck, didn't know it though, so he couldn't find it there. Betty able to set this over to the far side, looking to find Broski. And spinning and throwing the puck towards net is Teague Tomesh. Covered up there by Mike Lajewski. 18.45 left to go in the second period. Lions up 3-0. Thank you for joining us on now this late Friday evening. As now Princeton trying to keep this in the zone, and they do. Turnaround shot from the blue line. Goes wide for Julian Coleman. Back towards the far side corner. And a hit away from the play. And that's Matt Lajewski shaking up there. A slashing penalty will be called here against Max Garlock. Malajewski able to shake it off and skate under his own power. Good to see. Garlock going to the penalty box for the second time today. Two minutes for slashing at 147. Lions so far one for two on the power play. The referee's talking with the Princeton captain, Bennett. Along with another one of his teammates. And Princeton's only got two guys on the ice. Here comes another two. Get 
Face-off win here by Princeton, looking for a clear off the skate of Benny, and Bennett could have started a shorthanded rush here, but he does now. Tried to play it through the legs of Will Dimmick, and a nice defensive play there by the captain on the opposing captain. Dimmick dropping this back for Hastings. Chris Hastings for the circle, a shot, the flex, saved by Merchant there. Comes to the blue line, Benny unable to send it up. He plays it across now for Mark Teachin. Teachin across for Dimmick. Will Dimmick over for Teachin, that's off his stick and sent down by the Tigers. Bennett giving chase. And Benny is trying to get out of his way with the puck, obviously, as they try to send it to Dimmick. Bennett is able to take it away and play it back. Up the far side, handled by Mike Lajewski. And looking to start with this rush now is Travis Benny. Causing some fits there is Safalu. Benny will just wind this around. Able to play it back now for J.P. Kelly. Kelly in deep for Hastings. Back. Looking for a give and go for Kelly there. But it got sent away. And a penalty coming here against the Lions. It's a roughing call coming against J.P. Kelly. And that's going to end the Lions power play chance there. Kelly for roughing at 323 and that's one of those unnecessary penalties that I said the Lions really couldn't couldn't give. So now four on four play, went off the face off shot and a save by Lajewski. That was Nicholas Safalu on the chance there. 16.35 to go in the second period. Bennett centering, deflects into the blue paint. Nice handle though by the captain, Will Dimmick. Dimmick sends it across. Four seconds left on the penalty to Garlock and that one killed off and now the Lions will hop to the penalty kill for the first time today. Nice job by D'Alto. Running some time off the clock. Good defensive play there from Dimmick. Punches it into the neutral zone. Giving chase, Coyle on it, Coyle with a shot, blocked by a sliding Ryan Gizzy. Teaching up the far side, and he's just gonna throw it back down. Minute into the penalty on J.P. Kelly. Gizzy sends up the far side, a little touch for Bennett. Bennett tries to get it to Zafalo. Nice takeaway here by Will Dimmick. Dimmick looking to get past the defense, it's poked away by the goaltender Merchant, and now up for Safalu. Safalu in the circle, one-on-one, -on -one the shot, saved by Wojewski. Not even sure he knew where the puck was there. Foot race here towards the goaltender, Merchant, and he will just stick it away. Martin able to center it. Coyle trying to send another backhand pass on. It's cut out there by Dan Martin. Martin at the near side, trying to run some more clock. 10 seconds left on this power play. Bennett losing control, and he will just punch it in. Teach in there to get it. Kimak there on the help, and the time expires on the penalty. Good kill by the Lions. Had a few shorthanded chances there as well. Sent in deep here by the Tigers. Bennett playing across for Tomesh. Tomesh to the point. Shot thrown on, looking for a defection pass. Safe. Rebound try off the crossbar. 
for Safalu. Lajewski may have gotten a piece of that. Sent up, and that could have been a nice two-on-one opportunity for Martin and Anderson. This one sent over to Anderson in deep. Ryan Anderson plays over to Patrick Coyle. Looking to center, comes to the point, came back with a shot blocked. Garlock will just punch this down to the other end. Arm is up. And they wave off the icing call here. Centering try. Bouncing puck at Safalu's feet, but he didn't know it. As Teachin takes this up, looking to get it to Hastings. Goes up into the air, handled by Anderson. Knocked down by Krugliak. Far side, good defense from Krugliak. Able to get it up to Hastings. And a big hit by Krugliak away from the play. Fans loving it here. Meanwhile, cross ice pass. And falling into the net. Was Mark Teachin. 13.02 to go here in the second period. Lions still hold on to a three to nothing lead. And a late change by Princeton. They're gonna make them go back. And now the referees have to decide who's staying on. <laughs> Sorry, I can only chuckle. If You can probably hear the hey, 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 hey in my headset here. This crowd getting into it off the face off. A cover up there for Lajewski. As we hit the 13 minute even mark here in the second left. Shots on goal 15 to 9 in favor of the TCNJ Lions. Face off win for Dimmick. Able to play back. Looking to get it to Benny. Dugan able to send it over to the far side. Kelly hit away from the play. Meanwhile, D'Alto on a bouncing puck, trying to send it over the shoulder of Merchant. But Merchant was able to handle that there. Loose at the blue line. Kelly and Dimmick working on it here. Kelly will just drop this back. And Benny's going to look to start up this rush here. Benny to try and get it to Kelly. Princeton still offside here. Now played up to center ice and taken away. Bennett with a cross ice pass. Safalu. Tied up. And now in the slot, rolling puck handled by Michael Lajewski. So if you Rutgers fans are tuning in, just want to kind of lay this out for you. TCNJ is able to hold on and win this game. Rutgers will be taking on the University of Scranton tomorrow at 2.30. If Princeton can complete a comeback and win this game, Rutgers will play the University of Pennsylvania at 5.30 p.m. tomorrow. And you can catch all the action right back here on the Lions Hockey Live YouTube channel. This special presentation being Colonial Hockey Live. That's back at the near side. That was Garlock. Able to throw it over to Tomesh, and Tomesh gets hit by Suma. They look to drop a pass back. And now a battle at the far side. Good defense from the Lions there. They're, that's Suma battling hard deep in the Lions zone. Just comes out, shot there, blocked by Dan Martin. He's unable to shovel it out to Kevin Broski. Looking to center it here. Nice stop by Teachin. Comes to the point shot. Looking for a deflection, but a save there by Michael Lajewski. Tomesh tried to, ca tried to cause some traffic in front. 
11.06 remaining in this second period. Shots on goal in the first were 13-4 in favor of TCNJ. Now it's been an 8-3 period in favor of Princeton. And the Princeton coach had a question for one of the referees. There's a face-off win for Princeton. Shot thrown at the point. Blocked away. Now Anderson able to play up to Coyle. Good poke check, though. From the Tiger defenseman. That was Bischoff. Nice hit there on the far side. And another collision away from the play. Shot there blocked. Dropping it back to the point. Bischoff goes wide. Going back towards that high slot. Krugliak delivers a hit. Shot there. Traffic in front. And swept away by Patrick Williver. Matt Kimak. With speed. Kimak with a shot. Glove save for Merchant. And we've got a penalty coming here. Kimak collided with the goaltender Merchant trying to make a play. And with this stoppage here, Merchant a little shaken up. Looks like he should be okay, though. Just has to shake off the cobwebs. Kimak is going to go to the box along with Princeton's number 19, Christian Bischoff. At 9.49, Kimak for roughing, along with Bischoff for roughing. And the trainer out there to check on Merchant. Ten eleven left in the period. And I guess we should expect some four on four play here. Really the Lions have dominated the offensive. The offensive story to this game. Obviously the three goals, really good start. But they've had a lot, a lot more shot opportunities and quality chances. As Princeton, you know, has thrown more shots on net here. And Lajewski's made some really good saves. But just unable to put one through to this point. As the puck will come out to the neutral zone. And we are going to have four on four here for the next two minutes. Face-off win for the Lions and Kelly. Looking to sky this one into the Princeton zone. Tigers the other way. Bennett tried to drop it for Van Allen, but he got it poked away from him. Princeton has to reset here. Benny able to play across for Teachin. Teachin back for Benny. Travis Benny trying to play out the boards to Kelly. Van Allen with a drop back pass for Safalo. Safalo delivers a hit on Benny there. Benny able to stay with the play. Another hit laid on him. And this one played back to the point. Across Bennett with a shot. Looked to deflect that off the stick of a cutting. Nick Safalo. But it went wide. Van Allen able to drop it back. For Garlock. Garlock and Bennett in deep here. Drops it back for Van Allen. Gets it taken away. J.P. Kelly has the puck. One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. Kelly forehand. And a save there. 
by Merchant. Van Allen trying to drop back for Bennett. Good defense from Teachin and Dimmick on that far side. Dimmick with it, plays it off of Bennett, comes loose to the circle. Nice takeaway here for D'Alto. Could be a two on one for the Lions. Maybe a three on one. D'Alto looks to send it across and he got, I guess tripped up there, but it looks like he got the puck maybe as well. Slap shot for Teachin the other way and a save there for Coleman Merchant. 19 seconds left in the four on four, 8.30 left in this second period and the Lions still holding on to this three to nothing lead. A lot of good action right there. J.P. Kelly obviously getting past the defense, able to create a turnover in his own zone, turn it into a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. It seemed like he lost the handle a bit there as he was heading towards the blue paint. As this one is sent up and Lajewski We'll just cover that up. Twelve seconds left of four on four play here. Face off win for the Lions. Dugan with it. Sends up the far side. Hastings gonna chip it across now. This is Andrew Suma trying to work it through the legs. Oh, the Princeton defender there. Nice job by him, though. As Dugan will just send this in. Near side. D'Alto battling with it. Sends it across. The shot by Dugan off the post. Rebound try. Blocked in front. Puck still loose here. Sent wide of the net. Will Dimmick loses the puck there. Kept in by Suma, trying to throw it towards net, but that one is blocked as well. And D'Alto, nice keep. Gets it to Dimmick. Will Dimmick centering. D'Alto tried to spin around for a backhand try. Now the other way. Possible two-on-one for the Tigers here. The shot and a save by Lajewski. Julian Coleman on that shot the other way. And we're back to five on five. Face off win for Princeton, trying to work this up the slot. Drops it back to the point. Sent wide of the net. Box out attempt there by Benny on Hunt. And Krugliak will play this behind the net. Kimak and Krugliak working this here. Krugliak across ice. Kimak, nice poke ahead. This is Matt Kimak at the circle, gets it through. Forehand shot, saved by Merchant. Kimak a little off balance there as he entered the slot. Krugliak delivers a check. Benny with it now, and he'll send it over to Kimak. Kimak to the far side. Good speed here from Anderson. And he negates the icing call here. Shot thrown on by Kimak. Sticked away. Comes loose. Krugliak with the shot. Save. Looking for a rebound is Anderson, but he couldn't find it. Glove down here by Travis Benny. Plays it off the linesman. And that one is played into the TCNJ bench. Faceoff will come into the neutral zone. 6-12 remaining here in the second. Faceoff win by Princeton as Safalu works this up himself. Gets checked by his own bench there. Sent across. Cut out there by Wasserman. And now Bennett trying to send up. Good poke check. This is up now for Matt Lajewski. Drops it back for Dan Martin. Martin able to handle control there. Matt Lajewski trying to jam in a rebound and a couple of good saves there for Coleman Merchant. That one deflects out of play. 
And we get a stoppage here with 5.37 to go in the second period. Shots on goal, 20 to 15 in favor of TCNJ. In the period, 11 to seven in favor of Princeton. As Dugan has this now. Take away here, shot to score. Bad turnover by Matt Lajewski right there as Nicholas Safalu takes advantage of that. And it's a three to one game. Safalu unassisted at 14, 36. And that's just one that Matt Lajewski needs to shake off. Came off his skate right there, unable to handle. And Safalu had nobody on him. Able to slide that past the goaltender, Michael Lajewski. Princeton looking to build off some momentum now as Van Allen tried to get to that puck, but he lost his footing there. Patrick Hompy will send this behind the cage. Picked up here by Kelly for the Lions. Kelly looking to get it to D'Alto. Able to send a backhand pass over for Dimmick. Dimmick gets it poked away from him by Bischoff. Comes loose shot, and a score! J.P. Kelly, top shelf! And the Lions get the goal back. Great traffic in front by the Lions. As Merchant had no idea where that puck was. Will Dimmick, awesome job there in the slot. There was another player ahead of him. I couldn't really see who it was. I think it was D'Alto in there, causing some fits as well. Excellent setup there by the Lions. So now Kelly with a goal. And an assist as well. Yep, a goal and an assist so far for J.P. Kelly. As this is sent to the near side now, Kimak looking to play it up. Lions now with a 4-1 to one lead as Kelly sends into the corner. Taken away here by Bennett, gloved down by Teachin. Teachin allowing his team to reset before he fires it back in. And Kelly will take a seat. For now, played up the near side. Bennett, nice touch pass. Safalu at the circle, tied up there with Teaching. Teaching gets the better handle on that. That one sent in the direction of the cage, but it goes wide. At the circle, looking to throw a cross ice pass over for Safalu was Julian Coleman in the slot area. That one. Kept in, nice job by Max Garlock. Loosen the circle, tried to throw a shot on. Good defense there from Kimak. Coleman gets it poked away from him. Nice job here from Krugliak to get to that puck. Trying to kick it along. Centering pass, nobody home, comes out to the point. Played across now, the shot blocked. By Matt Kimak and exited from the zone, did that puck as Garlock threw that last shot on. Hand pass called here against the Tigers. 2.39 to go in the second. Lions lead 4 to 1 here in our second quarter final. Again, if you missed the crazy, wacky, wild, whatever other comparable adjectives I can come up with. Game, that was our first quarterfinal. Rutgers picking up the 6-5 to five 
overtime win over the Millersville Marauders to advance to tomorrow's semifinal. That puck goes out of play. Again, the winner of this game will determine who Rutgers plays and the also the winner of this game will determine who the victor of this game will play tomorrow as well. As Hastings has it in the corner, jammed up against the boards by two Princeton players there, looking to give his support is Kevin Broski. Kicked ahead by Hastings. Broski faces a little bit of a check. Hastings is there, and good pressure there from the Lions in deep, just unable to get that puck. Hastings able to play up. Broski trying to send towards net for Martin. Comes loose to Benny. Fakes a shot. Sends it over to Dugan with a shot, and it goes wide. Benny with another shot. Tough angle. Blocked. And now Princeton the other way in transition. Working along the far side. Ryan Gizzy. Check there by Dugan at the side of the net. Lifted out by Hastings. Possible two on one. Martin within the circle. Throws a shot on. Saved by Merchant. Benny able to play up to Broski. Off his stick comes loose to Martin. Martin with a shot from the circle. But it went wide. Andrew Bennett now. Tries to navigate his way through. Tied up there with Benny. And Benny now in transition. Tries to get up to D'Alto, just a little far out of his reach. And Bennett will now play this to center ice for Safalu. Safalu plays it through his legs. Loose in the slot. Rebound for Bennett. Handled by Lajewski. Another chance on a backhand. Look to go wrap around it first. Did Coleman, but some good defense there from the Lions in the slot area. Sent up offside is Bennett. Princeton questioning why an offside was called. They didn't think it went off Bennett, but nonetheless, Puck's going to come back into the neutral zone. 24.5 seconds remaining. Here in the second period. Face-off win for Dimmick. Played back to D'Alto, and D'Alto will just send this down. Handled here by Garlock. Prince being able to send it out, and Dimmick is just going to drop this back for... Matt Kimmack. Kimmack taking a look at the clock, and TCNJ is going to be satisfied with this three-goal lead going into the second intermission. Four to one the score in favor of the Lions through 40 minutes of play. First goal of the period, though, coming from Princeton. The goal scored by Nick Safalu. Unassisted at 14.36. But then just 47 seconds later, J.P. Kelly sent a floater towards net. But he did the job as he had his teammates in front shielding the path to that puck on Coleman Merchant. And that's the only scoring there from the second period. One aside. Also two penalties aside. One was... Coincidental minors. So each side had a penalty kill successful in that second period. It's been a good game so far for the Lions. They're moving the puck extremely well. They're making it difficult for Princeton at times to clear the puck out of the zone. And this, for them to keep that pressure on is certainly what they need going into this third period. Coach Duco understands that they need to keep the gas pedal on. They don't want to. They don't want to happen to them what happened to Rutgers in the last game to give up the the three goal lead. They ended up coming out with the victory, but still, 
you know, this, this game's still up in the balance. And for TCNJ to they just gotta fight hard. They really need to play a play defense. They've done it extremely well tonight. I can't stress enough how well they've played between the blue lines, especially. It's made a big difference. And that's something they could really build off of if they do advance to tomorrow. Meanwhile, for Princeton. Princeton's a team that will be very dangerous if you leave the puck in your defensive zone just to hang out to dry. And for Matt Lajewski on that turnover, that's exactly what he did. He lost possession. It kicked to the slot, was picked up by Safalo, and he was able to do the, the rest of the job. So, you know, he, he'll be able to, you know, shake that one off and get to the third period. But when you make those kind of mistakes, you can't do it against that top forward line for the Tigers as the Tigers are doing a okay job getting back into the game. They led the shots and goal in that period. 14 to 9, I believe it was. So, you know, they're building off some good things, but come playoff time, you can't be building off of things. You're, you're here in mid-February. You need to come out and win this game if you want to keep your season alive. And we will see if they can flip the script going into the third period of play. Through two, four to one, TCNJ. Who is going to come out with the victory to move on to tomorrow's semifinals? Will it be the Lions and their ability to hold on? Or Princeton looking for that comeback bid? Only way to find out is right here on Colonial Hockey Live. You're watching here on the Lions Hockey Live channel. This is your official home for the 2019 Colonial States College Hockey Conference Tournament. We'll be right back with the third.
And we are back here live at Luke's Ice Center. Happy Saturday, everyone. 25 past the hour. As we are only heading to the start of the third period. Let's give you a scoring summary you get in the second period. Can confirm at the 1436 mark that the goal was unassisted for Nick Safalu. And for TCNJ, the goal at 1523. JP Kelly's goal assisted by Will Dimmick. So now Will Demick with one goal and one assist on the game. J.P. Kelly the same. So now Princeton going to have to dig deep if they want to advance in this tournament and keep their season alive for TCNJ. It's all about keeping the pedal to the metal here in this third period. Seen a really good all-around game from TCNJ. And, you know, we talked about during their five-game win streak how offensively they were really playing solid. Well, it, starting last weekend and heading coming into this game and seeing how they played defensively, it really seems like they've come full circle. And it's just right at the perfect time in a winner-go-home situation. Face-off win here for Princeton as we start this third period. Teaching able to glove down and throw back into the neutral zone. Bennett able to send it across and a save off the mask by Lajewski on Julian Coleman. Thank you for staying up with us as we enter our Saturday morning portion of quarterfinal quarter Friday here at the Colonial Cup Tournament as Will Dimmick is going to look to start up a rush here. Dimmick looking to send across to Kelly. Kelly cuts in front of the defender, able to play it to the far side, back for D'Alto, and he will send it over now to Dimmick. Left for a teach in with a slap shot. And a save there for Merchant. Dimmick looks to send it, but wide of the cage as Kelly will drop this back to Teachin. Teachin for D'Alto. D'Alto tripped up. Slap shot for Teachin right into the glove of Coleman Merchant. We are one minute into this third period. Lions have a 4-1 to one lead. Both these teams splitting the regular season meetings. And the rubber match means more than anything at this point as Van Allen has it all on the far side. Looking to use his stick along with his feet to control this puck. Up the near side for Tomash. Good keep here by the Lions. Set up. Martin with a shot. And a glove save for Merchant. Chipped up to center ice now. Van Allen with a shot wide. Comes loose. Shot. And a glove save for Lajewski. And it ends up behind the net there. Dugan up for Hastings, chips ahead to the neutral zone. And now Princeton looking to go in transition here, but the puck finds its way to Dugan. And Krugliak trying to maneuver past one of the Princeton players there, but can't do so. Picking it up here is Garlock out the far side, sent on and handled here by Merchant. Out the far side, and deflects off the boards. Anderson able to hold on. Coyle with it, plays it up to Anderson, but Anderson was hit away from the play there. 
This one sent in by William Hunt. Suma giving chase, able to backhand it over to Patrick Coyle. Coyle for Teachin. Teachin looking to get it to Suma. Suma loses possession, though. Good cut out there by Ryan Anderson, who deflects it off one of the Princeton players. And now Krugliak will take control here. Krugliak across for Suma. Suma for Ryan Anderson. Anderson with the shot. Save there for Merchant. Good job right there from Anderson. Dish the puck off, headed towards the high slot area. Able to throw a good shot on there. Coyle tried to cause some havoc near the blue paint. 16.46 to go here in the third. Four to one the score in favor of the Lions. Played across ice, teach it with a wrister. That goes wide because it was blockered away by Merchant. Looking to send across for Dimmick. But it's just past his reach. Now Safalu working this now. Good pressure in deep. Safalu on this with Coleman. Sent towards net. Stick save for Lajewski. And now Kelly will wind this around, but it heads over the boards. For the stoppage in play. 16-13 left in this third period. Face-off win here for Princeton. Safalu maybe look to go wrap around. He's going to drop it back to the point for Wasserman. Wasserman sends it wide. D'Alto off the boards, looking to maybe play it to Kelly, but a good intercept by Princeton at center ice. Wasserman tries to work it up. Good cut out there by Teachin. And Kimak giving chase along with Bennett there. D'Alto can't get the puck out of the zone. Comes loose, shot. And a stick save there for Lajewski on Gorlock. Sent from a tough angle, but goes wide into the corner. Another shot to flex wide. Looking for a rebound was Safalu. But Kimak. And his stick were a bit in the way there. Spinning puck now. Will Demick able to control here. Looks to play it out to D'Alto. Spinning puck heading towards Merchant there. He'll just stick it aside. And now Matt Lajewski able to try and get it up for Chris Hastings. Benny looking to get it to Hastings. It's stuck at the side of the net, and it'll just be covered up by Coleman Merchant. 14.54 to go in the third period. Shots on goal, 29-20 to 20 in favor of the Lions. Face-off one here by Princeton. TCNJ keeping the pressure here on the forecheck. As Princeton looks to break out here, nice drop back pass in the circle, but a good cut out there by Dan Martin, as now giving Chase his Hastings. Delivers a check there on Christian Bischoff. Cross ice pass to Travis Benny here, only to find him, and a good takeaway now by Jameis and Dugan. Dugan winding around, giving chases Martin. Gizzy looking to get this out of the zone, and he does, and Lions will just fire back in. Broski looking to drop it back to Dugan. And now Broski up for trying to get it to Martin. Good tussle there by Martin as he wins the battle there. Nice help there from Krugliak as well. Defending Bennett there. From the neutral zone, nice shot attempt there for Jamison Dugan, but it went wide. Nice takeaway here from Will Dimmick. Dimmick just going to retreat into the neutral zone. Now plays it over to Travis Benny, who will just wind around. 
And TCNJ will make a change. Dimmick in deep. It'll be picked up here by Bischoff for Princeton. They play it up ice, gets past the stick of Teach, and it'll come back to Matt Kimak. Kimak up ice for D'Alto, has Kelly with him. D'Alto in the center for Kelly, off a skate, comes back to Dimmick. Dimmick with a shot, blocked in front by Gizzy. Comes out to the corner again, Dimmick. Punching at it, able to get it over to Dialto. Comes back to Dimmick. Now Teacher with a slap shot, and that one blocked by the stick of Nick Safalu. Safalu tries to navigate his way past Teaching. As this is loose in the circle, tried to send it over, but whiffing on a shot there was Bischoff. Big hit there on Kimak. Now the other way, though, Kelly. Had an opportunity. And and the penalty here on Bennett. Two minutes for boarding. Bennett for boarding at 7.53. And the Lions will hop back to the power play. Currently one for three. As this is sent in deep, Dan Martin with it, able to drop it back to Will Dimmick. Dimmick across ice from the circle and a save by Merchant. That was teaching on that shot and the Tigers are able to clear. Lions looking to restart the rush here. Benny tried to navigate past one of the Princeton players there to try and get it up to Hastings. Van Allen checked to the boards. Tugged down by Teachin. Minute 10 left on the power play here as this is now up for Matt Kimak. Kimak with speed, sends towards the net, stick safe. Rebound for Martin, trying to jam it in at the side of the net, but it's cleared away. Kimak with a shot, stick save, rebound, looking to put that in was Martin. And a clear here by Princeton. 45 seconds left on the penalty to Bennett. Kimak will just send it down the far side, winds around, over to Suma. Good job by him to get it in deep to D'Alto. Plays it back. Over for Kimak by Kelly. Now to Kelly with a shot, and it goes wide. Clear attempt blocked, but it does come out to the neutral zone. Played across. Shorthanded opportunity for Safalu. Safalu working it past Suma. Suma giving his best effort, and... TCNJ didn't like the hit there on Suma. Penalty expires. And a nice hit laid there by Matt Kimak. Kelly up now for Matt Lajewski. Gets it over to D'Alto. D'Alto will just tap that one in a little deeper and the Lions will make a change. Up ice here for Will Dimmick to intercept. He drops it back to Dugan. Dugan trying to shovel up that near side. Krugliak coming with speed, gloves it down. The handle now by Princeton. As they throw it in the neutral zone only to find Dugan off the end of the stick of Patrick Coyle. All these disruptions you're seeing from the Lions in the neutral zone, it's a vast improvement in the defensive game that we've been talking about all night. 
As Benny gets a little tripped up there, maybe by his own feet. Princeton has it in deep, and Dugan doing a nice job to get it over to Krugliak. Krugliak looking to get it to Coyle. It's off his skate, though. Izzy tried to work it up the near side. Still kept in here by the Tigers. Thrown across for Van Allen. And a penalty coming here against the Lions. It's a roughing penalty. And heading to the box will be Jamison Dugan. Dugan for roughing at 11.35. Princeton's power play so far 0 for 1 on the day. As Martin plays this back to Kimak, and that will deflect into the protective netting. Want to remind you while we have the chance, tomorrow semifinal action here from Luke's Ice Center. 2.30 p.m. will be the University of Scranton against the lowest seed remaining. Then at 5.30, the University of Pennsylvania, the two seed, will take on the highest seed remaining. So make sure you stay tuned to our social media. And like and subscribe to the Lions Hockey Live YouTube channel for all the latest updates on our special presentation, Colonial Hockey Live. Well, just comes loose, Bennett with a shot, and it just goes wide. Looking for a wraparound chance. Also, there was Bennett. Van Allen able to send it across. Shot from beyond the circle is blocked away. Kimak is without a stick. He's just trying to cause some fits there. Martin gives up his stick to Kimak. Played over to Bennett. Now back at the point, Van Allen. Sends it over to Bennett, looking to tee up a slap shot, but he didn't get all of it. Wasserman trying to jam it in. Van Allen sends it across the shot and a pad save for Lajewski, and he will cover up here. Thirty-seven seconds left on the penalty to Dugan. Seven oh two left here in this third period. Lions still have the four to one lead. Face off win here for Princeton. Tried to drop it back, taken away here by J.P. Kelly. Kelly with speed, gets it poked away from him and he spins after a hit there. Played up here, Safalu. Trying to get it past Dimmick. And now Kelly looking for a poke check as he had a step on the defense there. And now Princeton trying to find their way through the neutral zone. Bennett was offside, I believe. That one sent down. Arm up, icing called here. Against the Lions. That was a very interesting sequence. Mark Teachin didn't like the icing call for sure. 6.23 to go in the third. Face off win here for the Lions. Benny checked to the boards by Safalu. Comes to the near side now. Teachin just going to throw this into the neutral zone. This one handled by Michael Lajewski. And Teachin will sit back and wait for his offense to set up here. Over for J.P. Kelly. Kelly unable to get it out. This glove down at the blue line. Looking to get it up to Bennett. Was Bischoff.
Good back check from J.P. Kelly here. He has Hastings with him. Kelly will just send this in. Princeton trying to find their way up the near side, but it only comes to Benny. That one off the stick of Ryan Anderson. And a bit of back and forth here in the neutral zone. It's not going to help Princeton any. As Travis Benny has this now, could have a three on two. Benny with a shot, save, rebound, trying to jam at it. And it comes loose to the near side circle. Benny throwing in deep. Wasserman plays it along the boards, only to come to Dugan, who looks to throw a shot on, but it was deflected into the air. A turnover there by Krugliak. And a collision here. Slashing penalty coming here against Larry Krugliak. Krugliak for slashing at 15-24. Just so you guys know, I'm not going to go into a full-fledged post-game show. I know you're used to it, and I know you enjoy it. But I'm going to keep the recap very brief tonight. That way I can get where I need to go and get some sleep before tomorrow's action. From the circle, shot there and a score, top shelf. Ryan Gizzy, the defenseman, getting his fifth goal on the season and 21st point. And Princeton trims the deficit to two. And that's the mistakes that I said for TCNJ. They can't keep having these after the play, little unnecessary penalties. That's two power play goals now that Princeton has had coming off of unnecessary penalties. Great shot, though, from Gizzy from that circle. Power play goal for Gizzy. Shot thrown on there and a nice pad save for Merchant. And this is, you know, they're seeing a little more pushing and some slashing and other things right now. Game's getting a little chippy, but refs want to have this under control. Princeton right now with four men on the forward check. Arm up. And they wave off the icing here. As this is sent up the near side, trying to work it with Garlock is Bennett. Comes to the point now, shot saved by Lajewski. That one cleared, spinning puck. Has to be played before it gets to the red line. Three seventeen to go in this third period. Princeton trailing by two. Up for Martin here. Still loose and Martin. Came offside. And he tried to reset. Coach Duco jokingly wanted that call to go the other way, it looks like there. Kimak had some words, though, for the linesman. As this comes out to the point, nice poke ahead there by Dugan. Comes back out to the neutral zone. and Icing called here against the Lions. 
247 to go in this third period. Shots on goal, 34 to 24 in favor of TCNJ. If this result holds, TCNJ has a date with the Quakers of the University of Pennsylvania tomorrow as there's a shot off the faceoff. And a good handle there by Lejewski. Rutgers would take on the University of Scranton. Kind of tell at this point the referees kind of want to hear this final horn because they they were here very early for this different game. Rebound try there off the side of the net. These refs were here extremely early and had to wait during that injury delay in our first matchup. Cross ice here, Safalu gets it poked away from him and here comes Merchant to the bench. Extra attacker on for the Tigers. Played to the point here, the shot, the flex, and a save by Lajewski. Broken stick for one of the Princeton players. Another shot there, finds its way through and it's held on by Lajewski. We're gonna have a penalty coming here and if it's against the Lions, it's gonna be a big problem. Mark Teachin's gonna get called for roughing here. At the 18 minute mark into this third period. So we have an even two minutes on the clock, a two minute penalty here against Teachin. And six attackers on for Princeton. They have a two man advantage here. And a timeout called here by the Tigers. So they're gonna talk some strategy here as they have the extra attacker out in this four to two game. I know Coach Duco hasn't been happy with the calling after the play, not being on both teams, but in all fairness, just <laughs> don't get yourself in the situation in the first place. Don't retaliate after the fact is the name of the game. And the TCNJ players have just been caught red handed. It's just the, <laughs> the way this game has gone. And they got to be careful here as they will be down two men. And an empty netter should seal this for them. But they have a lot of work to do. They send out Dimmick. They send out Kelly and the defense pairing of Benny and Kimak. I'm sure they'd love to have Teachin out there, but he's the one that committed the penalty. Face-off win by the Lions. Kelly looks to send down ice. It's going to go wide of the cage. Bennett trying to work this up the near side. Gets it poked away. Kelly there as well. Dimmick retreating. Fires this one to the far side. Good poke there by Kimak, but not out of the zone. Bennett with it, sends it across. Just past the stick. Of Gizzy, he's able to find it and throw a shot on net. Corralled by Lajewski. A minute 25 left in this third period. Again, the extra attacker is out for the Tigers. Face-off win here for Princeton as they look to play it across. Sent up, Kelly with it, and he tries to chip it up into the air. It's kept in. Drop back to the point, loosen the circle, sends it across, but a saucer pass too hard. Good takeaway there, this one poked up. Foot race to the near side, and Dimmick. 
collided hard there. And he's a little slow to get up. Drop back, cross ice, and just past the reach. Now with Dimmick unable to get off here. Kelly on the takeaway. Sends toward net, rolling puck, and it goes wide. 33 seconds left in the third. Princeton down two goals here. Comes out to Benny, who will just wind it around. And Dimmick has taken a seat on the bench. He's going to get checked out by the medical staff here. Comes with to follow the shot, and a great save by Wojewski. 13 seconds remaining. Looking to send towards that. It's blocked. That one taken away. Seven seconds, and the empty netter sealed. Dan Martin takes advantage of the block shot. And the Lions will move on to the semifinals tomorrow. Lions able to seal this up with the empty netter from Dan Martin. Final seconds tick down, and the Lions' season will continue. TCNJ with a 5-2 win over the Princeton University Tigers. Two goals in the period. Power play goal from Princeton came from... Ryan Gizzy at 15.36. And then Dan Martin's empty netter unassisted with seven seconds to go in regulation. For Princeton, this has to be tough. For players like Safalu and, and Bennett, I obviously I think Bennett's a senior and his time's going to be done here. But he truly put up a tremendous season and this team's got a lot of class, too. It's why they won the Sportsmanship Award. So, really, a lot of credit to a Princeton team that's fought hard all year. But they come up a little bit short here against the Lions team that played a really good all-around game. Really good offensive game plan. Really good passing. Just fundamentally sound. Defensively disrupting all areas possible. And it's a good win for a TCNJ team who's played their best hockey over the last three or four weeks. Going to throw out the bracket for you real quick, and we'll come back and talk about it in just a moment. So there you see it, the matchup set up for tomorrow. At 2.30 p.m., it will be the University of Scranton taking on Rutgers University. Rutgers coming off the 6-5 overtime win today against the Millersville Marauders. And for TCNJ, they will take on the University of Pennsylvania Quakers at 5.30 p.m. for that start. Hopefully, hopefully it starts. At 5.30 tomorrow. Now that I said something, something's going to happen. Just watch. Oh, boy. What a long day. But it's been a fun one. This is exactly what we expect from a playoff weekend like this in a league where every game matters, every result matters. Only one team can win. Only one team can go to regionals. Only one team can hoist this Colonial Cup. And we are now down to four heading into the semifinals tomorrow. So make sure you tune in. Stay on tap with our social media throughout the weekend. At Lions Hockey Live on Facebook, on Twitter. You can also make sure you follow the Colonial States College Hockey Conference Twitter. That's at CSCHC Ice Hockey on Twitter for all updates. Our assistant coach, Paul Bacho, is on that duty this weekend. So that's going to do it for our special presentation here on the Lions Hockey Live channel, Colonial Hockey Live, which is giving you all the action here this weekend for the 2019
Colonial State's College Hockey Conference Tournament. We thank you for staying up if you did and enjoying today's action. This is Cody Decker signing off from Luke's Ice Center. We'll see you around 2 o'clock tomorrow for the beginning of semifinal coverage. We'll start out with Scranton and Rutgers, followed by the University of Pennsylvania and the TCNJ Lions. Have a good night, everybody.